Let's take a look at the allocation of support department costs, common costs, and revenues. Okay, now, a supporting or a service department provides services that assist other internal departments in the company. It's different from a production department or an operations department where um, the operations of the production department works directly on adding value to a product or service. So uh, one is considered more of a staff department, one is considered more of a line. The second one is the line department. There are methods to allocate support department costs. The single rate method will allocate costs in each cost pool, and usually that cost pool would be the entire service department, to cost objects. And the cost objects would be the production departments. Okay, And they would use the same rate per unit of a single allocation base. So they would take all the cost divided by some uh, measure of activity, and no distinction is made between fixed and variable costs when this method is used. Now there's also a dual rate method where there's a segregation of cost within each cost pool into variable costs and the fixed cost, and then they get a allocated differently. So each one would use a separate cost allocation base. There's a trade-off between allocation methods. The single rate single rate method is is simple to implement uh, but it does treat fixed costs in a manner similar to variable costs. A dual rate method treats fixed costs and variable costs more realistically but it's more complex to implement. Okay now under each method allocation of support cost can be based on one of three different approaches. Um, you could allocate it based on budgeted overhead rates and budgeted hours. Now we're assuming that uh, the allocation base um, is based on, looks like a, some kind of labor hour or work hour rate. But the concept here is it can be based on a budgeted rate or a budgeted level of activity or it can be based on a budgeted rate considering the actual level of activity or you can wait come up with the actual overhead rate and the actual hours in other words we'll do the allocation entirely based on actuals now when we think about which base to use when you think about actual versus budgeted rates keep in mind that a budgeted is a predetermined rate so it's known before uh, any activity takes place, while actual won't be known in, with certainty until the end of the period. Um, and there can be advantages and disadvantages of both of those approaches. There's different ways of allocating support costs to production departments as well. There's the direct method, the step-down method, and the reciprocal method. Let's take a look at the direct method. With the direct method, the allocation of support costs only goes to the operating or the manufacturing or the production departments. Okay, so the allocation of staff departments only go to the line departments. Okay, there's no interaction between one support, support department prior to the allocation. And, Let's see if we can take a little look at a graph here to, to explain this. So here we've got in the in the top left information systems department and accounting the, the bottom left. There's no allocation of the cost of the information department to the accounting, which also uses it. We ignore that. We simply take the cost of information and apply it to the line departments or the operational or production departments and then we take the accounting cost and do the same thing so there's no effort to show the fact that another staff function or support function could use the resources of another under the direct method we simply ignore it and that's why we see that big no stamp on the left side of this graphic okay with the direct method um, I 
I think we got a repeat on that slide there. Let's take a look at the step down now. Step down method allocates support costs to other support departments as well as to other operating departments that partially recognize there's a mutual service provided among the departments. So there's only one way interaction between support departments prior to the allocation. So let's see if we can take a look at this. Here we recognize that I that accounting is also a user of IT services just as production departments use it. Now, accounting also supports the IT information, right? They're providing budgeted and spending information, but we don't recognize that. We're only showing a step-down method where IT gets transferred to accounting. Once we've assembled the IT cost within the accounting cost, then we can allocate the accounting cost to production into packaging. With reciprocal method, we recognize that there is a mutual service being provided among support departments. So there's a full two-way interaction and a full two-way allocation prior to when we allocate support departments to production departments or to operating departments. Okay, so now we see the green line from information to accounting. Um, we see an allocation represented by that green line, but we also see an allocation of accounting back to information. So we're showing that there is this relationship of costs that need to be transferred to everyone that uses um, whatever being, is being provided by each area of the business. And then after we've done that support allocation, we then can allocate to the production departments. Now, when we think about choosing between methods, the reciprocal method is the most precise. But direct and step-down are simpler to compute and simpler to understand. The direct method is widely used.